What's up, everyone? So, Boyan Bogdanovic was a highly sought-after player that many teams were trying to acquire. The Utah Jazz ended up sending him to Detroit, which many considered undervalued, almost like trading him for peanuts compared to what other teams were rumored to offer. Then, several teams made efforts to acquire Boyan Bogdanovic for Detroit. Detroit signed him to a new two-year contract and mentioned that while they weren't actively looking to trade him, they would consider the right deal. For a while, Detroit's asking price was quite high, which many considered unrealistic. They were asking for things like two first-round draft picks for him, among other demands. Ultimately, he didn't get traded, but his value remains high. It's no surprise, given his skills, he's a 6 feet 7 inches to 6 feet 8 inches sharpshooter. Most teams could benefit from that kind of shooting prowess. Last season, his shooting was exceptional, hitting nearly 49% from the field, around 42% from beyond the arc on 6 attempts per game, and 53.9% from 2-point range. He also had an effective field goal percentage of 57% and averaged just under 22 points per game. He contributed almost 3 assists and 4 rebounds per game as well. While defense isn't his strong suit, he can undoubtedly make a significant impact on both the roster and the team's performance. Multiple teams are closely watching Boyan Bogdanovich, recognizing his potential impact. It's possible that Detroit might want to receive something in return for him, considering his future plans. He could be eyeing a move to a championship contending team eventually. One team that's been monitoring him heavily is the Lakers. The Lakers put in considerable effort to try and acquire Boyan Bogdanovich, especially during the trade deadline. While it didn't materialize, Boyan would have made more sense for the Lakers last year due to their lack of shooting and size on the perimeter. Boyan isn't a lockdown defender, but he's not as bad defensively as some portray him. He can guide offensive players towards the team's big men effectively. Considering the Lakers' current situation, there are potential scenarios where Boyan Bogdanovich could fit. If the Lakers plan to develop Austin Reeves as their future point guard and are open to moving Dennis Schroeder, Dillo, Boyan's acquisition could complement their roster. He wouldn't start, but he could contribute around 20 points off the bench, boosting the team's overall performance. Boyan's fit also depends on factors like asking price, need, and overall team dynamics. If the Lakers are still struggling with three-point shooting, Boyan and possibly another player like Alec Burks could provide valuable support. Despite his age, 34, Boyan could help the Lakers in their current win-now mode, especially if they manage their roster and rotations effectively. While it's uncertain if the Lakers will trade for Boyan Bogdanovich, the possibility isn't entirely ruled out. Fans and analysts have different opinions on whether his acquisition would benefit the team. It ultimately comes down to how the Lakers manage their assets and address their specific needs moving forward. And here's the channel's tip, study financial education and have a better quality of life, in the financial market, studying bonds and shares real estate investment trust, with responsibility for passive income, operating in the best investment brokerages in the world.